Senil sir. Agul sir. Sir, Solim sir, Solim sir. Uh, start from now. Solim start. I'll okay wait. sir. Or we will wait for some more minutes. Well, five minutes wait for now sir. <coughs> Kishore? Oh, yes, sir. And now it's the time to start. Okay, Warm welcome you all participants to this enthusiastic session. Myself, I am Kishore from Second Day Tribuli from Dr. NGP IT. It's immense pleasure to welcome you all to this fourth session. We are happy to introduce our today's session speaker as well as student coordinator of this program, Ms. Soumya Murugeshan. Second year Ghibli from Dr. NGP IT to deliver a lecture on wireless communications. Soumya, who is a kind hearted person, hard worker, passionate person, and active and reactive girl, we have a list of words to talk about her. And also, I wind up by telling she is a district champion volleyball sport and won numerous medals and titles. Now, I hand over this wonderful session to Ms. Soumya Murugesan. Thank you, Kishore, for your fabulous intro of mine. In this wonderful evening, we all have gathered here to know some information about wireless communications. Kishore, kindly mute yourself. Wireless communications. Before we enter into topic, first of all, what is communications? Actually, communication is nothing but transformations of information between two or more points. 
and the, in this case the word wireless communication even implies the meaning that communication takes place without wires and then in what manner it takes place is nothing but it is communicated by using a electromagnetic transfer of informations between two or more points and it is not connected by an electrical conductor where it, the electrical conductor is used in wired communications only and also first of all who introduced this wireless communications is gumiliano marconi in the year 1894 and also he developed his wireless system in telegraphy system using radio waves next why wireless communications currently we are using wired communications and now what became the need to use wireless communications is nothing but we get freedom from wires and also no bunch of wires running here and there is nothing but however the house is very beautiful and some of the wires handing hanging here and there makes the beauty of the home deceptive and in this case of wireless communications we don't have such problems and also an automatical instantaneous communications is nothing but to wherever place we go we are able to get our communications without any physical connection setups for example bluetooth wifi and etc and also as this communications is done without wires and it may overflow to the it may overflow to the overall glo globe and which is called as global coverage and also this communication can reach to the places where the wires is invisible or it also it is costly and some of the examples are rural areas buildings battlefields and outer spaces and also what is meaning by stay connected staying connected is nothing but to some people in the hilly stations we cannot contact them due to due to a less tower poor systems and also in this case there will be no problem like that and also flexibility to connect multiple devices it is nothing but in a wireless communications we can connect multiple devices at the same time but whereas in wired communications we can only connect up to eight devices and now what is wireless communications in this case of wireless communications we play a dual role both as a transistor and a receiver in sending and receiving the voice and data using electromagnetic wave in open space where we don't want to depend upon cables or wires and also the information from the center to receiver is only carried over a well defined channel well defined channel means what is the meaning of well defined channel it is a fixed frequency with standard bandwidth and capacity in it and also we don't want to depend uh, after telling channel only one channel is accessible we all get clashed with our communications and in this case we have different type of channels but also in this different type of channels also every each multiple devices will get their transmitting information in a parallel and in an independent manner typical frequencies in the wireless communications actually the variations of the frequency is depend only upon the various sectors and in fm radios it is 88 megahertz and in tv broadcast it is 200 megahertz and in gsm phones it is 900 megahertz and in gps it is 1.2 gigahertz and in ps pcs phones it is 1.8 gigahertz and varies in both bluetooth and wifi it is 2.4 gigahertz from the beginning we have came across uh, about communications and also what is wireless communications and how it happens and etc and now we are going to see that how this communication takes place actually the most basic thing how the communication takes place is with three sectors in this case of wireless communications the important media of this communication is transmitting antenna transmitting antenna receiving antenna and then satellite in this wireless communications satellite play a vital role like cables in wired communications the process is the signal from the transmitting side is received by the satellite and it's transmitted to the receiving antenna where the signals are captured likewise as i told you the satellite plays a vital role as like cables in wired communications so in wireless communications if we get up if we get distracted if we get any of the problems in our satellite our communication gets interrupted likewise in the case of wired communications if the wires get damaged we get interruption in the communications satellite is a main source of the wireless communications 
and to each sector we are classified with some of its types and in this wireless communications we have commonly four types and it's a namely radio transmission microwave transmission infrared and millimeter waves and light wave transmissions to every sector will be equally divided or will be somewhat ups and downs will be there with the advantages and disadvantages and in the case of radio transmission it is actually easily generated and also it travel to very long distance and also it will it's easily penetrate into buildings and also it travel in a omni directional way as i told you before we will be equally shared with the problems also and in this case the radio transmission is tightly licensed by the government we can only access it after the license by the government and also uh, one more most important drawback in this is it is dependent for frequency so if the frequency is much little higher or also it becomes low it will be a interruption for our hearing wise and also relatively the radio system only accesses with low bandwidth for data communication and then as well for microwave transmission the microwave transmission is only widely used for long distance communication and also comparing to all other transmissions it is relatively inexpensive and also inside this four common transition even one thing makes a possibility of having and the next transition becomes a in, in, impossibility so in this case the major problem of a microwave transmission is we couldn't it couldn't pass through the buildings and also it get erupted with the weather and also it is also commonly dependent of the frequency next with infrared and millimeter waves as i told you before the microwave transmission is used widely in long range communication as like infrared and millimeter waves is widely used in short range communications and what is a major problem in, in this is we can only access it inside our indoors like wifi connections and also it is not possible in outdoors and also it couldn't penetrate through solid objects and then light wave transmissions it is actually a easy way to install and also it doesn't require any license like radio wave transmissions and also it is a unguided optical signal such as laser and also it travels in a unidirectional method and also the problem of the four transmissions is also a uh, as it is dependent upon a weather the major problem is also the weather unable to penetrate in rain or thick fog or it can also be diverted by air because as it is a laser beams advantages the advantages are in wireless networks it is very cheaper to install and to maintain the installation and the maintaining cost of the wireless communications is really very very less and also is this in this communication the communication is feasible to the places where the cables become invisible we can also contact the people who are in hazardous areas and also through a long distance or in a hilly regions or in a battle fields or in a outer spaces and also it plays a major role with the working professionals by accepting the internet anywhere and any time without the without the use of cables or wires and wherever we go and also it it really makes a very helpful thing in completing the work on time and also improves the productivity than the wired communications disadvantages disadvantages is nothing but it is only exposed to high security when compared to high security threats when compared to wired communications we can face many vulnerabilities in it and also as i told you before the setting cost is really very high comparing to installations and maintaining cost is very low and unlike wired communications wireless communications is influenced by physical obstructions climatic conditions and interference from other wireless devices interference from other wireless devices is nothing but if two uh, if two wireless devices are parallel they can get emerged and also they can get clashed with their communications current wireless systems cellular systems wireless lans satellite systems charging systems and pans which is called as bluetooth 
cellular systems are otherwise called as mobile systems and wireless bands we already know it is called as modems or wifi system satellite system we all know what it is is and paging system paging system is a device uh, used in 1960s when we get a message we can only read a brief message to the subscriber we can only give a brief message to the subscriber where we couldn't type a message in that and also pans are nothing but it is otherwise called as bluetooth and now what is cellular systems cellular systems are wireless mobile communication system that will actually divide a large geographic area into a smaller smaller sessions or cells and also that each small small sessions will be consisting of low power wireless transmitters actually for what uh, they are dividing it is not to get clashed with other communications and also the purpose of uh, purpose of that low power wireless transmitters is to minimize the limited number of frequencies and also when we are in a call and in a particular area when when we start talking in a particular area and we get switched to another area we will never get disconnected from the call because our identity and location and radio frequency is handed by one cell to another without interrupting a call this is called as cellular system practically you can see here to be continued the communication between the base station and mobile is actually defined by cia which is known as common air interface and also the voice transmission from the base station to mobile is carried by forward voice channel fvc and also the voice transmission from the mobile to base station is carried by reverse voice channel rvc and also the initiating the mobile call from the base station to mobile is initiated by forward control channels and the initiations of a mobile call from the mobile to base station is carried by reverse control channel that is rcc next cellular telephone systems cellular telephone systems is nothing but it is a part of cellular system cellular system is the by part of a cellular system is called as cellular telephone systems and cellular telephone systems are otherwise called as mobile telephones and also it make use of a short wave analog or digital communication type and in this also you can see a separate uh, large geographic area has been divided into small small cells or sessions and also everything is awarded with a low power transmitters and that low power transmitters is otherwise called as here as cell and also the important characteristic of why they found the cellular telephone system is at the same time we can get connected to large number of users and also we can travel we can take this to a large geographic area with a limited frequency spectrum and also the concept of this cell is to reuse the re re radio frequency which has again and again used and also uh, this cellular telephone system makes very useful in providing the connection to the PSTN for any user location within the radio range of the system and the basic cellular systems are mobile stations base stations and mobile switchings and next cordless telephone systems CTS is a full duplex communication system where both the parties can communicate with each other simultaneously and it is otherwise called as portable telephones this cordless telephone systems also a part of cellular telephone systems and also it is otherwise called as portable telephones cts is a duplex full duplex communication full duplex communications is nothing but parties both the parties can communicate with each other simultaneously and also in this cordless telephone system we have we have two main generation that is first generation cordless telephones and second generation cordless telephones the first generation cordless telephones is only accessible in home that is we can communicate only to a dedicated base unit and then few tens of meters as it is as we told it can be accessible only in home use only it can transfer to few tens of meters and then second generation cordless phones second generation cordless phone they have little bit modified it and they make it as accessible to outdoors also combining with paging systems 
as it is we can travel it to outdoors also it can travel to few hundred meters per station evolution of mobile radio communication major mobile radio systems historically the wireless communication launched in the year 1934 that is polish radio uses conventional am mobile communication systems and in 1935 edwin armstrong demonstrate fm and in 1946 first public mobile telephone service that is push to talk in 1960 improved mobile telephone service imts that is full duplex that is the both the parties can speak simultaneously at same time and in 1960 bell lab introduced the concept of cellular mobile system in 1968 at and t proposed the concept of cellular mobile system to fcc in 1976 bell mobile phone service poor service due to call blocking in 1983 advanced mobile phone system amps ftma fm in 1991 global system for mobile gsm tdma gmsk in 1991 US Digital Cellular USDC IS54 TDMA DQPSK and in 1993 IS95 CDMA QPSK and finally PPSK Example of mobile radio systems Some of the examples of mobile radio systems are cordless phones remote controllers handheld walkie talkies where we can see Uh, we can often see in police officers hands and also pages cellular telephones and wireless lands which are otherwise called as modems and also subscriber what is mean by subscriber is we all are subscriber the mobile users are subscribers portable portable is nothing but it is a device taken handheld to calculate our walking speed and etc it, it can be also said as pacers and also mobile is nothing but a radio terminal that could move during the operations classifications classifications of mobile radio transmission systems in this slide we can know about informations about the classifications of mobile radio transmission powers it is basically classified into simplex half duplex and full duplex simplex is nothing but communication is in only one direction you can only receive the communication and you cannot talk back to them and also half duplex is nothing but the transmission and reception both can also take place but also both will take place with a one radio channels full duplex full duplex is nothing but uh, we can also talk we can also receive that is like mobile phones frequency division duplexing uses two radio channels the first one is forward channels and the reverse channels forward channels is nothing but voice transmission done from base station to mobile user and the reverse channel is nothing but voice transmission from mobile user to base stations is called as reverse channels and also time division duplexing shares a single radio channel in time in this slide you can see a common a common transmitter which is also used to forward the channel to the phone and also can receive the channel and also can it will forward to the next mobile phone to the opposite direction and now what is mean by vlan vlan is nothing but wireless local area network a wireless lan is a computer network the work of the computer network is to link two or more point devices using wireless communications and it will form a lan lan is nothing but local area network but also the work of it, it is to link two points or more than two points but also it can only link to a limited area or to a particular area like such as inside a home or inside a particular campus or a school or office buildings and also as i told you it can only do in a particular area the confined region is only up to 100 meters and also Uh, they uh, we can we can ex, uh, we can uh, get some of the low uh, performance in some of the videos uh, which exceeds uh, which exceeds the capacity of the vlan and also uh, the each device is how much ever devices are connected in this vlan at the same time can be accessed only by using one single channel and also 
the vlan is only can access through a low mobility satellite system the satellite the satellite system we all came across from the beginning and also satellite can communicate by using radio waves and the process of the satellite is to receive it will send the signal to the antenna on the earth and the antenna will then capture those signals and it will process the information and it will send to us and also the health and where the satellite is and the current situation of a satellite is located from us in the earth and also periodically we have different types of satellites such as leo meo heo gps geo drone satellite ground satellite and polar satellite and also it is a major thing which has been in which has been the global is widely believed in tv broadcasting military and weather broadcasting and etc and also it plays a vital role in voice and data transmitting satellite system is a only data source which uses a expensive base stations till now and also it has been optimized for a good transmissions satellite plays a vital role in a global coverage also paging systems finally we came to the last system of our communications and and also paging systems are a communication system that will send a brief message to the subscribers as i told you before it will send a it, it can only send a brief message to the subscribers and also in this pager system we can see a a one line message is being typed there and also the message the message inside that box is called as patch and also the paging system then transmits the patch throughout the service area using base stations which broadcast the page on a radio carrier that is nothing but the same message will be sent to and particular will be sent to all the people who have this pager and also it is be accessed only only from the it can broadcast this message only from all the base stations and also it consists of only simple terminals and also it is overtaken by cellular system now and also it is only a one way transmission one way transmission is nothing but we can only send the message and we we can only the the one user only can send the message and we can't text back to them and now in 1960s only it was like that but in modern pager system we can it includes with news held headlines stock quotations faxes and etc simultaneously pager system particularly vary widely in their complexity and over coverage thank you now i open the session for queries If you have any queries, please kindly post it in a chat box. Um, Omya, you have a question by Rahul Kumar sir. What was the difference between half duplex and full duplex? Yes, sir. One second, sir. Sir, uh, half duplex is nothing but we in that also we can transmit and also. Uh, receive the information sir but also this, these two takes place only with same radio channels and in case of full duplex also it takes place it, it doesn't takes place with the same radio channels and of different channels is implemented sir and also in that case also we can transmit and receive our information um how may i have another question by rahul kumar sir again how many kind of communication system available in real time
actually go again with the question kishore yeah uh, how many kind of communication systems available in real time it is only wireless communications and wired communications and in both in in that both type we have different types of communications got segregated but the basics are only two that is wired communications and wireless communications participants any queries HD sir or either HD sir sorry that participants can directly open your mic and ask your queries to me directly <coughs> thank you samya excellent presentation uh, you have another question what yes, kind of communication system used in flights sorry sir i don't have idea about what kind of communication system in flight sir i'll refer it and i'll tell my best sir okay no issue um oh, thank yeah. you yeah uh, i have another question from surabhi mahendra latest version in wireless communication yes latest versions in wireless communication actually there is no latest versions in wireless communications in wireless communications are the system without wires and also we have get segregated and we have many divisions in that uh, in case of uh, we can make implement in uh, we can make implement in telephone systems and first of all they founded out in telegraph system like it the system of it only differs it, it never meant that latest versions are not in that i think i have answered surabhi mahendran okay um you have another question again from rahul kumar sir what was the difference between 2g and 5g sir so comparing to uh, 2g we can have the speed of the data sir and also uh, we can gain our data is very easily uh, and also the transmission of a data is also very very easy and also it makes in a very good manner sir Uh, what about so bandwidth know. for a 2G and 5G? He is asking. Sir, so if I had to tell, I uh, sir, so I just learnt about it. Uh, like 2G and 5G differs with uh, 100% of bandwidth. I have overcome, sir. But I correctly don't know what is the ratio of that bandwidth, sir. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. And thank you, sir. Mia, excellent presentation. Uh, tomorrow you, is the last day for this uh, student development program i kindly request all of you to join tomorrow session by 4 4 pm and tomorrow you have uh, yam surabhi who is going to present on the topic solar thermal power generation thank you everyone you sir, can leave the meeting tell my vote yeah, yeah. of thanks sir sure ma you can my special vote of thanks to all the active participants and the supporting head of triple e dr s jagannathan who gave me this wonderful opportunity and mr sendilnathan assistant professor who guided me in this wonderful event and also pravin kumar sir who guided me in this ppt works
thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you ma'am students you can leave the meeting right now